you are very lucky to be watching this video. I'll tell you why. This tree here is indoors. And you know what tree that is? That is an olive tree. I'll repeat that. That is an olive tree. Okay. Now you're going to say, well, so what? All right. Well, I'm going to tell you some amazing facts, right? And I saw some of that information in, a, in an English uh, King James Bible. We, I kept seeing olives, olive oil, olives, olive oil mentioned several times, right? And I thought, that's interesting. They're not mentioned many other trees, but they've mentioned olive leaves. So what I did, I, I started investigating why olive trees were so popular back two or two or three thousand years ago. And so as a result of that research, um, I've, I've worked out that I heard about this olive tree in Israel that was 800 years old. I repeat that, 800 years old, okay? So I was fascinated, why? Because from the age of three, my grandfather taught me how to start organic gardening and I've always been very familiar with the soil, organic growing, organic plantations and being healthy using organic food. And I know for a fact through the years and years of research I did subsequent to being young, I found that, that the fruit trees like apricot tree, okay, apple tree, pear tree, plum tree and so on, they last on average in an orchard or wherever you plant them, even if it's good soil, about 35 years, that's it. After 35 years, the tree becomes weak and it starts to weaken and it desiccates, insects attack it and it kills the tree. So farmers have to cut that tree down, put new plantation about the 30th year. But lo and behold, the olive tree still going, 800 years old. So I thought, right? So we've got a, a patient and a friend of ours down our road from us, and she originally was born in Israel. So I told her about this tree. I said, have you ever heard of it? She said, no. She'd been here a long time in England, right? Anyway, what happened next? I said to her, if ever you go back to Israel, when you do, can you check to see where that olive tree is, if you've got one there? Because I, I, I've never heard of it. I, I've never seen it. She said, sure. About three months went by, four months went by, the door, my front door, our front door opened and she was there with this little jar and she looked at it and she said, have a look at that. See the olives? I said, yes. She said, that's from that tree. I said, which tree? She said, the olive tree. She said, 15 of us, most of them about five foot ten or above, went in three cars all over Israel. It's not a big place, but it went all over Israel. And finally, when they got to the border with Lebanon, there was this tree, this olive tree, massive tree. It was about 18, 20 feet wide and black. Is that old? And the, the guides that were there and the people that had done the scientific research in that tree said that that tree was, uh, the olive tree there on that, in that Israel land was 980 years old, 980. I went, wow. She said, I've taken photos. So they had 15 people lined up in front of that tree and there was still more tree on either side. That's how big the tree was. 15 people, but that big. 15 lined up, it was that wide. It was still bearing olives. So 980 years old. So subsequent to that, I got a book written by a, an olive, law, olive, oil, olive, oil, oil, olive processing professor from Queensland and he made some. He made an interesting observation. He was a professor who got a PhD on olives, right? And guess what he said? He said the olive tree is immortal. I went, wow! And then it turns out that in the book, when I researched it, there was a particular polyphenolic compound, polyphenolic compound, polymers multiple, which is one of the strongest antioxidants you can get, right? Now you may have heard, of course, of free radical damage like say from sunlight or from diesel fumes, and that's the one that makes you age and get you tired and exhausted because it's always damaging your cells, right? Now you've got 75 trillion cells, and the idea is to protect your cells with antioxidants. So what I did, I studied this polyphenolic compound to this book that he wrote, a very comprehensive book. Sure enough, this polyphenolic compound when in insects, 
that normally kills other trees, attacks the olive tree, the olive tree kills that insect with that compound. And I said to myself, gosh, this is powerful because that can literally mean an answer to anti-aging and certainly an answer to longevity. So I planted, I'd already planted uh, eight year old, the trees are now eight years old. I'd already planted the olive trees, so I already had the trees in the yard, are two big olive trees. They're now 18 feet tall, and I've got two smaller ones as well. So I've got four olive leaves now. And then what we do, we use the olive leaves to make tea on a regular basis. And since we've been using the olive leaves, we've, we've noticed that a lot of people we've been giving it to, our patients, they get so much better with the olive leaves. Now, so much so that in the last virus we had, one of our neighbors suffered from that virus, right? And we, I gave her a whole bunch of olive leaves, bay leaves from our yard, olive leaves, bay leaves, raspberry leaves, and kaffalon. And I said, make six cups of tea per day, right? And she drank two cups, she drank two days of these cups of tea. And by the end of the second day, the virus was gone. I mean, absolutely gone. She was amazed, right? So we under something bigger here. So I would suggest that you need to keep in contact with us and get more information about how we grow our olive trees with the minerals and so on. And even if you plant one small olive leaves and you get the flower. Now, now the olive leaves, you know, has got leaves like this, like long green leaves, but they're thin, right? But you will know it's an olive leaf. Often if you go outside to some of the restaurants in London, you will see olive leaves, olive trees planted outside the restaurant in, in tubs, right? So my advice to you, get in contact with us, right? Go to our website, right? Get in contact with us, check our YouTube channel and request more information. Thank you very much.